Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. And um, I love many things. I think you know that many is in tiny. Um, and this, believe it or not, is a one page wonder. And um, I'm gonna show you how to make this little mini journal with all kinds of little pockets um, out of one piece of paper, okay? So this was inspired by a video I saw by Jenny Card Designs, and I'll link her channel for you in the description. Um, she has a series, uh, Cut It Up, I think is what she calls it. And so she made hers with a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper. And um, she rounded the corners and she did a couple little really cute things and all these pockets. But I decided that I wanted to make a mini version. So we are going to make this using an 8 by 8 inch piece of paper. But let me show you real quick. If you do a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper, um, this is the size you end up with. You end up with a 3 by 3 inch little mini journal. Um, and then when you do an 8 by 8, you end up with a 2 by 2 inch. And I just think it is so stinking cute. So let's get started. Um, you can make this with a piece of paper that's only um that's white on the back so that only has you know the the color on, on one side you could actually just make it with a piece of plain paper and then decorate your pages but you can also make it like with a um, two-sided piece of cardstock so i hadn't decided when i sat down which one i was going to use um let's use this with the Kind of the neutral and everything and later i'll make that one so we'll see how we do all right so again start off with an eight by eight inch piece of paper and you're going to score your paper at two inches four inches and six inches and then turn it and do the same thing um, on the other side so two inches four inches and six inches okay now um, to make it easy, hopefully, for you guys to see where I'm going to be cutting, I am going to go ahead and um, ink a few of these edges um, and score lines just so that on camera, hopefully, it'll be a little easier for you guys to see what I am doing. So, let me get some ink. And go ahead and ink those edges for you. So I've only folded um, our paper on um, one direction on the, the score, score marks. Um, and we'll fold it the other way in a little bit. But I think it'll be easier for me to cut if I just start here. So, oh wait, no, I do need to because you won't be able to see where I want you to stop <laughs> if I don't ink the other one. So we'll just go ahead and get those done too. And you do wanna try to be careful when you're folding and make sure everything is lining up the way you want it to because this will make your little mini journal look um, nice and neat when you're all done. You kind of want all the pages as much as possible to line up. Okay. Now you are going to need a pair of scissors. Look at that. It's like a little grid. You're going to need a pair of scissors and um, we're going to cut from the bottom here up to this score line, just kind of right in the middle of where you creased it. Okay, so just snip right up to that line and leave it like that. And then you're gonna turn it over. So now the, the part you cut is on the right hand side and then cut on the middle one right up again to that top line 
reach right to it. Okay. And then flip it again. <laughs> and you're going to do the same thing. And you just don't want to cut all the way. You just want to go right up to that score line. There you go. And now you have something that looks like this. And I believe Jenny on her channel said it looked like an M, and it does, a capital M. Okay, now if you're using a paper that is printed on one side and is plain on the other, you want to fold this, because I, I want to see mostly the this peach paper. I don't want to see mostly white. Now my covers will end up being white and that's okay. I'll just layer some paper on there. That's what I did with this one. I just covered it actually with some dictionary paper and then my pattern paper is on the inside. So start with your um, pattern up, bottom left hand corner and you're gonna fold up and then back and you're just doing an accordion style fold just like that. And then this one, fold underneath, and then you're gonna do an accordion style fold again. And since I had pre-folded um, these, it is pretty easy. And now you're at the bottom, and again, fold it back under, and then back up in an accordion style fold. And now tuck this one under, and then an accordion style fold until you get to the end. And now you have something that looks like this. It's cute, and I promise it's gonna turn into a journal here in a minute. So now you'll see what I mean. This is can be your cover, and we have a page. And when we glue these together, a page, a page, all the way through to then your back cover. And those will want to cover. Now this part, I found a little difficult to, to follow. And so um, I've got a couple of ideas and something that I'm gonna do a little different with mine about how to do the little notches. Um, I like when I do have a little page, each page becomes a pocket. I like having um, it the notch just on one one part of the paper. Now you could certainly chomp through both and it would be fine and you'd have a little a little piece there showing you where your pocket is. But I'm gonna do mine a little bit differently than how she did on the original video, even though I like how she did that. Okay, so decide which um, which piece you want to be your cover. And at this point, if you have a directionality to your paper, you may want to pay attention to that, even though some of it's going to end up upside down, I believe. Yeah. So here the words seem like they're going in the correct direction, but when I get back here, they're upside down. So I think it's more just decide, decide which way you want it to be. Okay, I'm going to make this be my front cover. All right, and I did really like what... Um, she did, she used a highlighter, I'm gonna use a pen. And this is my cover. So this next piece is going to be the page. And so this has this piece has to glue here, but I want it to be a pocket, right? So it, it's kind of hard to tell, but for this to become a pocket, I would put glue, and I'm gonna mark it for you, along this edge, and along this edge. And then this, when I open up, will be a page and it will be a top load pocket. I know that's a little confusing, but trust me, it will come together. Now, because I know I want a notch on this side when I open it up to show me, oh, there's a little top load pocket there. I'm gonna go ahead and mark, this is a two inch square. I'm gonna mark it one inch where I'm gonna to wanna to cut a little notch. So I see I have a little pink dot there and I know to punch that out, okay? All right, so that's my first page. Now my next page 
is going to turn into a side load page because this is going to be the page right here and it's going to be a side load. So to be a side load, I need to glue on this edge and on this edge. And you're not going to see these pink lines when I add the glue. So there we go. We'll have another page to turn. I'm also going to mark this one because this is going to be a side load pocket. So every other page, one page will be a top load pocket, the next page will be side load. So then that means on this page, it's a top load pocket. So I could go ahead and mark my pocket if I want to. We'll dot it one inch. And then to make this a top load pocket, I'm gonna add glue to this side and to this side. And I fold it back. There's my page. All right, so I know this seems a little fiddly um, and, and it gets even fiddlier now because now we just did the top load pocket, right? Now we're doing a side load pocket but my book just flipped a little bit on, and because of how we had to, to, to fold it. So now this is gonna be a side load pocket. I'm marking it at one inch, but we lift it up this way and we're gonna have glue here and here. All right, fold it back. Next page, top load pocket. So we mark it and again, we open it up glue here and here. I hope this is making sense. All right, we're back to a side load pocket. And I need to flip it down this way. We're gonna have glue here and here. All right, and this is my last one, and it's a top load pocket, because again, every other one and I need to put glue to this side and to this side. All right, I hope I haven't completely confused you guys. I'm gonna put, this is the front and this is the back because I'm gonna layer paper on here so you won't see my, my little cheats for myself. Okay, so we've got the front cover and then we have one page, two pages, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the back cover. And we have everything marked so we know how we need to punch it and then how we need to glue it. So the first thing we're gonna do is notch out all of our pockets. So you just, I'm gonna just look to every page that has a little pink dot and I'm gonna punch it out. And this one, it's on the side. And so this is why going ahead and marking it so I can get each of these centered nicely and doing it before I glue the book together makes it a lot easier. And I suggest you, the first time you make these, and that's what I did, I used a piece of paper I didn't care about and I just folded it and got really used to the process <laughs> it hit me in the face. And um, by the time I made this one, I felt very, very comfortable. Okay, so that's all of my notches cut out. And if you want to, now would be the time to make it easier to ink. If you're going to ink your pockets and all of your edges. So I'm just going to go through really quick and add the ink. I've already got ink on all the creases and on these edges that I haven't inked, I can go back and do that later because they'll be glued down and it's not like I'm trying to get inside a pocket <laughs> to add ink. I just think this is so cute. I have made many journals, many, many I've made many, many journals and I just think this one comes together so fun and easy and I hope you're gonna try it. 
All right, I'm gonna use my art glitter glue. Hopefully there's enough in my bottle just because it's gonna grab hold quickly and easily for me. So now that I have all my pages marked, it's pretty easy. I'm just gonna add glue everywhere I have those pink lines. And I'm gonna try to stay really close to the edge with a thin line of glue. Make sure I'm being nice and neat because the neater I am, the happier I'll be with my project at the end. And the if I can do that thin bead of glue, I have more room in each of these pockets. If you did not want the pages to be pockets, you could just glue, glue, the, glue the squares together. So that again is a personal decision. You just wanna make a mini journal with a cover and seven inside pages, that would be cute too. And I even added some other pockets and tuck spots on mine. So you could just decide to do it that way as well. And it's not quite as fiddly if you were to do that. But I do think it is really precious. Make sure everything is lining up. And you just go through on repeat. Okay, I think I've got a couple more to do. And the good news with this too is if you accidentally skip one, you'll know <laughs> because it'll sort of um, come apart a little bit. Um, not in a bad way because you can fix it, but you'll be like, oh, I missed gluing those pages together and only glue where you made your marks so you don't get confused. Okay, I am just so excited about this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm probably gonna go through here and add a little extra ink so that when there isn't anything in the pockets, you don't see that bright white. You could also, if you're using a digital paper like I did here, you could print on both sides. It, and that way then your cover isn't white and you would have a little bit of pattern showing through where you have those notches. But I just think it turned out so cute. Now, what I did is I also added a piece of washi tape on this spine. And honestly, the spine's okay leaving it. You just see the little folds of the paper and you know, with the ink on there. Um, but I did put a little piece of washi tape and I think it looks cute. So we'll add a piece of washi tape. Let me look and see what I have. Um, whoa, I am just knocking. Oh, I just knocked my camera. Let's see, are you guys still with me? I think you're okay. Uh, and I realized I didn't zoom in much. We'll zoom in a little bit more now that I'm in the middle of the video. Okay. Oh, that's some fun paper. Maybe we'll use a piece of that um, for our cover. First, let me see if I have washi tape. I think one this width will work, and that coordinates with the peach colors inside. What do you think? I think it's a great idea. So because this is washi tape and will pull up, I need a two inch strip. I am going to add a little bit of glue so that I know it won't peel up on me. And then I'm gonna add glue right onto the washi tape here. Make sure it gets in that spine nicely. And fold it over. And then whatever I layer on here will also go on top. So I think the washi tape won't go anywhere and it still opens up nice and flat for each page to be decorated or written on or whatever. Okay, let's see on this little pad of papers that I have, if I have something that seems to be the correct colors. I sure do like those flowers. Let's see if I can get a, so I want my square, this is two by two, so right at two by two, because I want it to cover up quite a bit of the white 
but I will put some extra ink on there so that, there we go. It can be a little less than two by two, so it'll fit on there nicely. And I need the front and the back cover. So I'm gonna cover up that white. So let's see. I cut it right at two. I probably needed to go just a smidge under. So I will go just a smidge under, just a smidge under two by two. Let's see. Yes, that fits on there nicely. That'll be cute. And I'll decide which one of these I want to be the cover and the back, which one I want to be on the back. And then it's back to just all the fun decorating and adding some extra little um, pockets on the pages, coming up with the little cards, um, little journaling cards or tags to go in all of the pockets. Okay, I think I want this to be the cover because I like that it had the flower and the butterfly on it. So I'm going to glue this down, and this paper has a nice texture to it as well. All right. I want it centered in there the best I can. So you don't even see really much of the washi tape except on the spine, and it's really cute. And it is still summertime here in Virginia, but I am starting starting to uh, wish for fall. So maybe that's why I picked some papers that were kind of in the oranges and the fall colors. And I don't know if you can tell on camera too, the stains on my fingernails. I was dyeing ribbon yesterday and I did a really pretty orange one. So I'll have that ready to go too. All right, I just love it. So again, let me pull out. Let me pull out a little, a little doodad. Oh, this one even coordinates with this journal. Um, so see, we'll just go through. And I made each of these pieces. This is a little more than one and a half by one and six eighths. You know, I really got close. Um, on one edge to that two inch because I do, I don't want them to disappear inside my pockets. But by the time I go through and add a bunch of little tags and I decorate each page or uh, leave some for writing space, I think this little mini journal is gonna be just as precious as this one. I love it and see how chunky it got. Um, so fun. It would be cute um, to put a button and then you could have a little closure too, which would be fun for one of them. So lots of things you can do with this one. Real quick, if you do want to do one that's this size, like I said, I will link Jenny's uh, uh, YouTube channel and video for you. But um, what you would do if you want to do one this side, it, size is if this was the 12 by 12 piece of paper, you would score this one at three, six, and nine, and then turn it and score it at three, six, and nine. So for the mini, mini, that's an eight inch piece, it's scoring at two, four, and six, and turning it, and then for a 12 by 12 piece, it is three inches, six inches, and nine inches. So that might save you a little time if you would rather make the larger size. I have a feeling I'm going to be making quite a few both sizes because I just think it turned out so cute. All right, I hope you enjoyed this latest uh, video in my one page wonder series and um, thanks for joining me if you haven't already please like the video leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel you guys are the best until next time see ya